All right, today I'm gonna to show you two use cases for how you can use Cursor to elevate your workflow. First is a PRD generator via custom agent mode. Another one is a UX engineer or growth engineer that will analyze your landing page and propose changes for you. So the first one is going to be the PRD generator. The idea is that we want to get this custom agent to generate an extensive PRD with an implantation plan that will be the, the groundwork or the foundation for your agents or your background agents to work on and build a product afterwards. So let's jump right into it. So this uh, custom agent mode has a prompt that looks something like this. The idea it's able is, is it's able to give you a task breakdown, define the impact effort, the ICPs, and give you a full breakdown of how you should approach implementation, not only as context for you, but also for the agents that are gonna be working on this afterwards. So what we're doing right now is we're just planning the PRD development. It's taking this proposal generator idea uh, for freelancers to be able to generate proposals to send to their clients, and it's gonna build out a very extensive PRD for you. And there you have it. We have a very detailed PRD with the ICPs, key value prop, scope definition, mm -hmm. task breakdown, feature specs, impact effort, and also uh, a, a, yeah, like a, a database schema on what the database should look like, success metrics, and technical planning. So you can now switch over to the agent mode to start building this out. Let's see what it looks like. So what we have here is we actually got the agent to build the core MVP, which is just creating a template, calling a template na name, and then saving the template and then generating a proposal based on that. And the cool thing is that you can actually get your agent to also update the PRD as it goes along to keep track of all the tasks, whether it's not started, in progress, or completed, so that if you were to use background agents that run autonomously, you can then have them actually update the document and keep track of the progress until they get to the end outcome. So let's see what an example of that looks like. All right, awesome. So now we have a document that is keeping track of all the tasks, where they are where in the progress in terms of what's been completed, what's remaining. Um, ideally, we want to be able to just keep this document as a living document in this process. All right, next up, we have this landing page and we want to be able to use a custom mode to get feedback on the structure, the UX, the copy and positioning and better understand how we can improve this landing page. So this is landing page, it's a, it's a rag for developers. And I created a simple document that says, hey, I need you to kind of define the ICPs and make some changes and give me better ideas on the copy and structure. So um, I have this document as context, using this document as context, find the ICP use cases and uh, suggest an extensive copy and structure uh, improvement. Uh, have a copy doc that says what each block of text should say. So let's go ahead and see what it comes out with. Also, the most important thing is that you can actually drop in the images as context and the agent will be able to make those changes for you. So we're just gonna go ahead and make that revision so that it takes the context, the image as well. All right, now we have a fully extensive document with ICPs laid out, core use cases, proposed landing pages. So for example, what the hero section should say and the, the, the supporting copy, the testimonials, and a complete restructure of the entire layout. So for example, if I were to uh, implement, if I had the code base to this, I would go and take this copy, copy document as context and then get an agent that's set to auto mode and make those changes. Here's actually a live example of that where we took these proposed changes and implemented them within the code base directly with new copy and layout changes. So these are the use cases, the testimonial highlight, how to actually use it, stats, and then also more social proof. So you can use all of this as context to actually continuously improve your landing page or your UI, both on the context from these images and also one of the agents looking and assessing your code base or the images that you provided to give you feedback on it. Anyways, I hope that's helpful.